हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट थर्ड टाइप ऑफ ई सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन व्हिच इज फ्रेगमेंटेशन नाउ फ्रेगमेंटेशन इज अ टाइप ऑफ ई सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन दिस टाइप ऑफ ई सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन एंटायर न्यू ऑर्गेनिज्म कैन ग्रो फ्रॉम सर्टेन पीसेस और सेल ऑफ द पेरेंट ऑर्गेनिज्म एंटायर new organism grows from pieces and cells of organism it's a type of reproduction or regeneration ability of the organism to replace their lost part regeneration ability also found in lower invertebrates and lower vertebrates like starfish and pizza now let us study fragmentation from diagram it's a filament of algae spirogyra spirogyra is a multicellular Uh, algae in which asexual reproduction is occurred by the process of fragmentation now spirogyra break down in two parts and each part of spirogyra develops into a new organism two process of fragmentation each part or cell of spirogyra we can say each piece of spirogyra develops into a new organism so fragmentation is a type of uh, asexual reproduction as well as it's a regeneration ability of organism now next type of asexual reproduction is a spore formation spore formation is a type of fourth type of asexual reproduction which is commonly found in fungi and bacterial cell this reproduction is commonly found in fungi and bacterial cell now what is spore spore 
is a microscopic cell which contains a nucleus with a small mass of cytoplasm surrounded by a protective coat. It's a microscopic cell. which contain nucleus and cytoplasm. During this process a structure called as sporangium is formed. A structure formed during this process and it is called as sporangium. In this structure, nucleus divides several times and each nucleus with a little tress of cytoplasm forms a spore. Nucleus which is present in sporangium divides several times with a bit amount of cytoplasm and develops into a spore. So now sporangium contains many spores. Sporangium contains many spores. Finally, sporangium bursts and all spores are liberated out and develop into a new hyphae. Hyphae is a body of fungi. Hyphae is a main body of fungi. Or we can say it's a filament of fungi. Now let us study pore formation from a diagram. This is called as sporangium. By the spore formation, many spores are formed inside the sporangium. In favorable conditions, sporangium burst. And all spores are liberated out and develop into a new hyphae of fungi. This is the main body of fungi which is called as hypha. Now, this is sporangium burst.
This corrigium bursts and all spores are liquidated out in outer atmosphere and develops into a new organism in favorable condition. This type of asexual reproduction uh, spore formation found in fungi. Example of that type of fungi is the rhizopus. And in bacteria, this type of reproduction is found in cocci and bacillus bacteria. Now this is all about spore formation. Next type of asexual reproduction is vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation exclusively found in flowering plants. It is found in only flowering plants or we can say in angiosperms now in the this type of reproduction the new plant develops from the vegetative parts of the parent plant This type of reproduction possible because vegetative parts of the plant contain meristematic tissue which are capable in division. This type of reproduction possible because vegetative parts of the plant contain meristematic tissue. which are capable in division. This type of reproduction can be occurred by naturally and artificially. Vegetative propagation can be occurred by naturally and artificially. First of all, we will study naturally vegetative propagation. So, naturally propagation, naturally vegetative propagation is occurred by three types. They are occurred in part of plants which are root, stem and leaves. So, first naturally propagation we will study in stems, by stems. Second, by roots and third, by leaves. By stems, naturally propag uh, vegetative propagation is found in stem of potato, onion and ginger. By roots, Vegetative propagation is occurred by roots of sweet potato and dahlia and dahlia and by these it is occurred by only by these of bryophyllum plant. They all are vegetative parts of plants and all contain somatic cells or vegetative cells. While reproductive part of plant is called as flower. Now 
by steam vegetative propagation found in potato so in potato the structure of potato and some dark zone is found on the potato they are called as eye or bud they are called as eye or bud these eyes or bud develops into a new plant by a vegetative propagation first of all a root develops of for a uh, root of new plant develops from this eye and then complete plant develops by this vegetative part of plants just like same in sweet potato vegetative propagation is also occurred just like uh, just like potato in sweet potato sweet potato is a root of plant and at the time of vegetative propagation they also contain eye or bud on their body and eye develops into a new plant like potato now next vegetative propagation by the process of natural uh, by the natural process is occurred in leaves example of that type of plant in which vegetative propagation occurred through leaves is bryophyllum so there we will study vegetative propagation in uh, leaves of bryophyllum in leaves of bryophyllum buds are occurred on the margin of leaves this is a leaf of bryophyllum and as i told you in leaves of bryophyllum buds are occurred on the margin of leaves and when this leaf falls on a moist soil each bud can give rise to new plant when this leaf falls on a moist soil each bud each bud develops into a new plant now this is ab all about naturally vegetative propagation next is artificially vegetative propagation